We want to defend our democracy. We see that it's under attack. They are monopolizing social network and they are really interfering in the minds of uh, individuals. First, establish a diagnosis, like who is attacking the European institutions, the European democracies, the European societies, who is waging uh, informational war inside our countries. And the second part, it is medication. What we should do? Disinformation, that is a very skillful manipulation of human minds ideologically to push in the direction or vote for political forces which are not at all democratic. It's extremely dangerous. I don't care if uh, you think that uh, the earth is flat, but if there is a foreign government making sure that millions of uh, my fellow citizens are sure that uh, the earth is flat, then it becomes a problem. You have armies of hackers which are trying to enter into our institutions all the time. For instance, the European Agency on Medication during the pandemic crisis, or hospitals in Ireland during the crisis, attacked by uh, Russian hackers. I would say that big half and particularly now in, in, with the war in Ukraine, uh, the mo belongs to Russia. They are employing a lot of money for this and they are covering the vastest area. Another player is China, but there are also other countries uh, with growing assertiveness to interfere. The answer will always be more democracy. The Taiwanese democracy, it's amazing. They are under constant attack from the Chinese regime. And instead of closing themselves up, they have built a very participative democracy. Build up the resilience. And resilience means education. Resilience means resources. Resilience means support for media. We tried to negotiate with platforms, a voluntary code of uh, behavior. Our next step is hard legislation making them responsible for content.